Hello guys, MikiJB here and welcome to my video guys and in this video I'm gonna introduce a new equipment that Bandai has implemented. This time we got a ring, yes, a new ring equipment that is different from the armor and the weapon. That also means we need specific materials like ring gemstones to produce the rings. I will also put timestamps so you can just click on topics that you are more interested in and don't really need to look through my videos. What do the rings do? Short warp the rings, uh, when you produce the rings, they will have a damage boosting effect for each element, so fire element boost, water element boost, wind element boost, etc. And the ring can receive up to two random bonus like attack, defense, or even crit. When you equip a ring, you can also equip a passive or ability as an X ability. And the only effect that will uh, affect the ability is the one they mark with the green dot, because this does not increase your status or stats meaning there will also be no cost equipment when you do that and also the awakening effect will not be activated just like mod skills or connect skills like i mentioned before we need specific materials such as rings gemstone and floor mobs item to produce the rings for example let's say you want to craft a fire ring that you will need one of these items that can list you here right now in front of you these are all the items you need for the uh, one star ring and uh, five uh, ring gemstone and four on call that will make you your first fire one star ring and uh, if you didn't know you can also upgrade your ring to two star and also to three star for a two star you will need 100 leaf bamboo one uh, five, five ring gemstone and one of the fire ring that you use crafted and fire on call that will make your ring to two star and for 3 star, basically the same materials but except you need one ring gemstone plus which I will show you how to get that and also the fire ring that you crafted and 1000 coal and don't worry I will also show you all the materials for the all other rings and or other elements uh, rings water, wind, earth, dark and holy so these are the materials that you need for those so don't worry, you can even pause to see how it is. If you want to farm the best way for each element, uh, if you want the fire ring, you should just focus on the floor 85 because it has all the materials that you need for just the crafting from uh, 1 star to 2 star to 3 star, that's it. Same goes for other uh, elements. For water, you want to focus on floor 61. For the wind, floor 75. For the earth, floor 81. Dark for floor 50 and for lastly holy ring you should focus on floor 74 because with this floor you can easily gather your materials and easily can craft your uh, rings uh, efficiency and yeah you don't really need to go and download all the lower floor just to get the materials you know when you produced a ring you will also receive a random bonus or even two if you're real lucky there are 44 random bonus, yes, 44 random bonus that you can get on your ring and all of them bonus can be a low roll or a high roll. And what do I mean by low roll and high roll? It's the same concept when you're crafting your floor weapon or gear. Sometimes you can get like 10 flat attack and 4 flat attack, uh, where the 10 is the high roll number which is because it's a maximum roll. And for the uh, 4 is a low roll, which is uh, one of the lowest roll uh, stats you can get on attack. And with that concept, if the same goes for the rings. Let's go with the same for a uh, fire uh, ring example. Once you produce the fire ring, the fire percent the damage can be between 1% or 1.5%. The 1% is the low roll, because the lowest one you can get yet and 1.5% is the high roll which is the maximum you can get on the fire damage and the percentage will be higher once you upgrade to 2 star and 3 star and with that example now you can apply it into the random bonus let's say you want to crit rate on your bonus you will have 1 of 4 of 4 to get it then also it can roll between 1% to 1.8% crit rate so yes there's a lot of uh, RNG involved in this crafting with rings but the best is it's really cheap and the call shouldn't be that issue but it's more, uh, more like time consuming so it's time for the ring gemstone where can we get those? Uh, you can get ring gemstone at the Lovecraft Phantom and Rings Gem Temple which is the newest event and is also a permanent event this event is a solo dungeon event where you can we have to push through waves 
defeating enemies until the time is up or when you enter a near death state. The enemy will get stronger for which each wave. Facts about the enemies is that they are weak to thrust and has high resistance to slash and blunt. So it's recommended to use, uh, for example, spear because it's an AoE and it's really good during this battle. To get the ring gemstone, you can either get them by conquering the dungeon or use from the drops. There are four types of reward to obtain the ring gemstone once you conquer the dungeon. First one is the battle rewards, uh, which are based on according to the number of waves are cleared, and the more waves you clear, the more rewards you will get. And then we have challenge reward, is when you clear a specific wave for the first time. Then we also have rewards for total wave clear, so the total amount of waves you have cleared. And then lastly we have achievement rewards, which is when you reach a milestone of the achievement based on the total number of rings you have obtained. And to unlock this dungeon, you need to have cleared floor 50. Yes, so make sure to clear floor 50 and you can easily enter the permanent event. For the ring gemstone plus, you need to go from the menu, item, enchant, trade, production and item. From there you need any boss that is above floor 50 and 5 ring gemstone to craft just one gemstone plus, which is pretty easy, very simple and that's how you unlock that and or get it. Exactly, yes, which I mentioned before. After producing your very first ring, you will be able to unlock X ability once you equip your ring. With the help of the ring, you will be able to equip your fifth ability or passive record, uh, depends what you want to say, with no extra cost, but you will not gain any increased stats. Not all passive skill or effects can be equipped, so there are skill effects that are enabled as X ability are indicated with a green mark at the beginning of the skill name, which you can see here, right in front of you. So there are about 150 skill records that can be equipped so far into the ring. Because there are so many skills to cover, I will show you how to use the bot on Discord that Nayu and Prism has created. So you only need to type uh, if uh, exclamation mark uh, our skill and press the enter and it will show you all the passes that you can put inside your ring. Pretty easy, pretty simple use and you can just look through. Thank you, thank you Nayu for doing this. And but what skills are really good inside the ring? Well, it's so far we haven't tested all the passive skills yet, but mainly that you want to put your skills that has advanced trooper 2 or combination X, which can be 1, 2, 4, depends which uh, passive skill you have. And for the situation like against uh, GOG Medusa, you can put petrified resistant passive, which is also nice. And that is the end of this guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the guide video. Hopefully, hopefully it was helpful and it was details and stuff. Um, for me and my opinion on the rings, well, they are pretty nice. Really nice to have see a new equipment, but they're not really not a must to have. They're basically the same as ingot, but kind of better because you can equip ability and also you don't have any down effect like decreased element damage if you have a dark uh, increased damage, you know on the ingots but yeah i'm really happy and yeah hopefully you guys got really helpful with this video and uh, leave a like uh, if you if, if it was really helpful so that's for me take care now and bye bye